New at six, nearly 500,000 U.S. servicemen and women suffered a traumatic brain injury from 2000 to 2020. In fact, in combat, up to 35 percent have suffered a concussion. Ursula Perry reports that Texas researchers are working to modernize the way we protect our service members using the latest technology. While many of us watch the action unfold on the big screen, Kaz Kowalski lived through it on the ground in Somalia during a firefight between U.S. troops and armed fighters. The person on the left of me got hurt, the person on the one got hurt. I happened to just be in the right place at the right time at that point. But not every soldier was so lucky, and that's why engineers at Rice University are working on this. The first printable smart helmet. We employed the carbon printer to be able to print a very lightweight, strong material and then integrate our electronics into it. By using 3D printed nanomaterial exoskeletons, each helmet can be customized for the needs of each fighter. The lattice structure allows computers with health sensors, infrared cameras and thermal maps to be built right into the helmet. So if there is anything approaching the soldier that is a threat, the helmet will tell you that. Those sensors, like those used in the NFL now, can not only tell if a person has suffered a concussion, but also how severe it is. And that's just the beginning. This is the Google Glass. This is the actual augmented reality display. I can actually see everybody's thermal profiles. Four cameras give a 360 infrared view. Artificial intelligence can detect threats and is capable of launching countermeasures. It's the future and we're trying to bring it forward. This project is being funded by the U.S. Navy. Right now, it's just a prototype. All of the cameras and the sensors are all going to fit inside a normal size helmet. And they're hoping that all this technology is going to be ready for testing by the end of the year. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.